Well, this is one of the most powerful earthquakes on record. To find out just how powerful, let's talk to Dr. Roger Musson, a seismologist at the British Geological Survey. How big was it? Well, this, this earthquake was 8.9. It really is an enormous earthquake. Um, it's actually the sixth the largest that's ever been recorded since seismographic records began in 1900. It's certainly the largest that's affected Japan uh, in the last century. Uh, it's large, considerably larger than anything else in living memory in Japan. Uh, the, the largest previously was the 1923 Kanto earthquake, uh, the one that caused so much damage in Tokyo. That was only 7.9. That's 30 times less powerful than this one. Uh, you can see from this map, um, these, are the, these are the epicenters. The dots are misleading because they don't give a, uh, a good impression of the size. But the actual main shock uh, broke an area of crust with a box, something like that, and all moved rapidly, um, probably some, some, some several metres, an enormous amount of energy, um, displacing the seabed, um, causing a huge amount of water to wash in both directions, and therefore causing the, the devastating tsunami that we've seen such frightening footage of. And that's not the end of the story. And that's not the end. You can see how many aftershocks we've already had. Uh, I should say that the yellow ones, incidentally, are four shocks. These are earthquakes that happened about two days ago. Um, the orange ones and the red ones are the ones that have happened this morning. Uh, it's likely to continue for at least some weeks. And all of this happening in one of the most seismic active parts of the world. Uh, yes, um, Japan knows they know, the Japanese know they have an earthquake problem. They've taken enormous steps uh, to protect the population from earthquakes. Uh, this earthquake is going to be a real test of how ready and how prepared they have been. Roger was uh, explaining that this earthquake displaces the Chilean quake as the sixth most powerful in the world since records began, since the technology was available back in 1900.